Hi, this is Carson from Dave Smith Instruments here with the first in our series of tutorial videos to get you more familiar with the operation of your Tempest. Today's tutorial will cover updating the Tempest operating systems using Mac and PC computers. To update the OS, you'll need a computer, USB cable or MIDI interface, and of course the Tempest. There are four different operating systems for the Tempest. The main, SAM, voice, and panel OS. You should check that your currently loaded versions are in line with our latest official release. You can find the latest official OS versions for the Tempest at the Tempest support page on our website. Hit the system button to enter the system menu. Use the category and select line soft knobs to navigate to the show system information menu item. Select it using the leftmost soft button and the currently loaded OS versions will be displayed on screen. If you find that your OS versions are up to date, you should not proceed with reloading the OS files. If you're using a USB cable for connectivity, the Tempest is a USB class compliant device. No additional drivers are necessary. Connect a USB cable between the Tempest and the computer. Alternately, you may choose to use a MIDI interface to update with. In this case, connect the MIDI interface to your computer and connect a MIDI cable from the MIDI interface's MIDI output to the MIDI in on the Tempest. Hit the system button to enter the Tempest system menu. Navigate to the menu item labeled MIDI SysX in out cable. Set it to USB if you have the Tempest connected via USB. Set it to MIDI port if you have the Tempest connected via MIDI interface. Let's start with how to update your Tempest from an Apple-based computer. On your computer, open the zip file containing the operating systems. You will find four SysX files, one for each of the operating systems running on the Tempest. You can install them in any order, though they must be installed sequentially and in separate transmissions. You should also close any other applications which may be using the MIDI bus, including DAW and standalone music and MIDI softwares. Open one of the four operating systems into Sysix Librarian. You will see it come up in a list. You can select it by clicking on it. In the destination pull-down menu, select the Tempest menu item or the MIDI output port of the MIDI interface which you are using to transmit the file. Press the play button to begin transmission of the OS file. The Tempest screen will show the progress of the OS file's reception with a numeric countdown. If during this first countdown, the countdown stops or you receive a status byte received in data error on screen, you can power cycle the Tempest safely and attempt to resend the OS file to it. Do not power down when the Tempest screen shows a writing now message. If you encounter any errors or stalls when sending the OS file to the Tempest, you should try lowering Sysix Librarian's transmission speed settings. Once the countdown completes, the Tempest screen will display a writing message. Do not power down until FX1 LEDs reach the top and stop moving, then restart the Tempest. Next, let's take a look at the process for updating from a PC-based computer. Open MIDIOX and select the MIDI Devices menu item from the Options pull-down menu. In the opened window, go to the lower left quadrant and select the Tempest as the MIDI output, or select the MIDI output port of the MIDI interface connected to the Tempest. You will see the selected port turn up in the upper right-hand quadrant of the window. Press OK to save the settings. Next, select the Configure Buffers menu item from the Options pull-down menu. Set the low-level output buffers size and number settings to 1024. Click the OK button to save the settings. Once the output buffers have been set, select the Sysix menu item from the View pull-down menu. In the opened window, select the Load File menu item from the Command window pull-down menu. Now select one of the OS files contained in the OS Update zip. To send the file to the Tempest, select the Send Sysix menu item from the Command window pull-down menu. Once the countdown completes, the Tempest screen will display a writing message. Do not power down until FX1 LEDs reach the top and stop moving, then restart the Tempest. If you encounter any errors or stalls when sending the OS file to the Tempest, you should try doubling the low-level output buffers in MIDIOX to slow the file's transmission. To do so, select the Configure Buffers menu item from the Options pull-down menu. Double the low-level output buffer number and size settings and press OK to save the changes. Resend the file to the Tempest. If the countdown shown on the Tempest gets closer to zero, you'll know that you're moving in the right direction with the buffer settings. You may have to adjust the settings several times before finding the right combination. Repeat the process for each of the four OS files contained in the zip file. After you've updated the operating systems, you should calibrate the Tempest analog filters and oscillators. Begin by removing any audio connections from the unit. 